Okay, so going from the forearm down through the fingers, and we're going to look at the vessels also in the forearm. So when we take a look here, um, like I warned you, there's a lot to it, so hang in there with me. So the tendons at the bicep brachii comes down. You can see it there. Um, we have the supinator, which is cutting through. We have the flexor digitorum profundus. We have the flexor pollicis longus, which you can see coming through there. We have the pronator uh, quadratus there, both sides. And then um, I want you to know coming down, we'll cover those later. So um, the extensor uh, carpi radialis longus here. So you have your flexor digitorum superfascialis also right there. So the lecanon uh, process, so this is kind of a strange cut the way they have this. Here's your anconius and your supinator with your abductor pollicis longus, your extensor pollicis longus, and um, that should work. So the inner ossei muscles here between each finger. And coming around here, we have the brachial radialis, the extensor uh, carpi radialis longus, the extensor carpi radialis brevis, and the extensor digitorum uh, here with the abductor pollicis, extender pollicis, and the extender pollicis longus. So we just, the extender pollicis or extender muscles will work. Um, I don't try not to get too crazy on you guys. Um, you have the tender extender uh, digitorum here so all these your extensor um, well, don't worry about those so the extensor digitorum um, minimi <laughs> here and the extensor uh, caprici and your flexor caprici and aniconius here with your uh, insertion of your triceps brachii so, as we talked about, this is your olecranon, your aniconius, your supinator, your abductor pollicis, and then you have your extender um, pollicis with your inner osseous muscles down below. So, looking here, the biceps brachii with the brachialis, you have your radial nerve right in there. So, um, we'll take a look. This is your brachial radialis muscle. This one right here is your flexor uh, carpi radialis, and then you have your palmus longus with your flexor uh, uh, ulnar radius, ulnar muscle. Whew. And then coming over here, we're looking at an axial. This is a CT, so we've got your uh, brachial radialis and your aniconius muscle, and this is your annular uh, ligament there, holding it all together with your radial nerve running through there, your flexor digitorum, and your um, brachialis tendon is right there. So um, your pronator teres and your brachialis muscles all right here. All right, so your flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, flexor digitorum superfascialis, your flexor carpi ulnar ulnaris, and you have your ulnar nerve running right in there. Your flexor digitorum profundus, here is your ulna. And all of these back here, they're pretty hard to tell the difference when we're actually looking. Um, so you have to look those up in your book and take the best guess you can, okay? Um, what else do I want you to know? Oh, the brachial radialis is the big one right there. And here is your pronator teres right there in the middle. So your flexor carpi radialis with your flexor digitorum fascialis and then uh, your ulnar nerve is here with your flexor carpi ulnaris and your flexor digitorum profundus. So we're getting down pretty low, um, getting towards the wrist here. You can see your flexor digitorum superfascialis tendons, all of these. Um, then you have your flexor digitorum profundus tendons um, it, it gets confusing, um, if you're not already. <laughs> Here is your abductor pollicis longus, or I'm sorry, your pronator quadratus, sorry about that. And of course you have your ulna and your radius. And here is your extensor digitorum tendon. So 
you have your flexor digitorum and your flex extender digitorum, okay? Brachioradialis muscle, here's your radius, your extensor uh, carpi radialis longus, we have your extender radialis brevis, and your flexor digitorum profundus muscle with your ulnar nerve there in the middle, and I want you to know your flexor digitorum superfascialis and your palmar longus muscle. So this is an axial T1. You can see the differentiations between the muscles um, better than you can on a CT. So it still can be tricky. Um, this is a really good one to lay out all the different areas. Um, so you can take a look at that. Um, I'm not going to be asking you details like this on your exam, but you'll be able to label with these images um, the lab. So the important things here, the extensor digitorum uh, uh, indicis muscles, uh, muscles tendons, and then you have your extensor pollicis longus tendon, extensor uh, carpi radialis brevis, and then coming down, I want you to know your flexor digitorum superfascialis tendons, your ulnar artery and nerve, um, they're right in there. All right, so this one, a little bit easier to see, not as much going on. You have your pronator uh, teres, there's your median nerve, your brachial artery, hard to tell that that's an artery, and here's your bicep tendon, your brachioradialis muscle, and I'd want you to know your radius and ulna, uh, and your ulna nerve, you can see there's a little fat around it so you can see it, so that's good. Your brachioradialis muscle, and I want you to know your ulna nerve, your flexor uh, carpi ulnaris, and your flexor digitorum profundus. This is your basilic vein right there. Here's your ulna and your radius. So extensor tendon there, and we have your flexor digitorum superfascialis tendons there with your flexor digitorum profundus. So fun. Okay, so the fingers phalanges. So distal phalanges, we have your middle phalanges, your proximal phalanges with your proximal or your meta um, carpal phalangeal joints. So you'll need to know your carpo metacarpal joint and then you'll need to know all your wrist bones. So the trapezoid, trapezium, scaphoid, uh, there's your radial styloid, radius ulna, lunate, You've got your ulnar styloid, your trichretrum, your pisiform, your hamate hook on your hamate, and your capitate there. Here's your metacarpals and the metacarpal head. Uh -huh. And oh, do we want to cover those? Nope, we got them. All right, so you're not going to get away with not knowing your wrist bones. So hamate, capitate, trapezoid, trapezium, scaphoid, lunate, trichretrum, pisiform. So flipped over, pisiform, trichretrum. Lunate, scaphoid, we've got the trichretrum, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. So looking here, you can see the median nerve, so um, carpal tunnel uh, syndrome. So looking in here, so when we scan, sometimes we have the hand flexed so that we can see any impingement. So this is a CT3D. We have the fifth metacarpal, fourth, third, uh, second. We have the capitate here. Um, here's your first proximal phalange. You have sesamoid bones, um, usually at the thumb and under the base of the uh, first toe. You have the first metacarpal coming down, and you have your trapezoid, tra uh, trapezium, your scaphoid, your lunate, your pisiform, your trichretral. Uh, you have your hamate with your hamate hook, and your styloid process of your radius, styloid process of your ulna, and then your radius and your ulna. So looking at the hand, this is an axial cut. So we have the trichretrum. So if we go pisiform, trichretrum, hamate, capitate, scaphoid. So you got to look at where it's cutting through. So here we have hook a hamate, hamate, capitate, uh, trapezoid, um, trapezium, and your first metacarpal. So looking here, we have pisiform, tri uh, trichretral, hamate, capitate, 
scaphoid. Here we have the pisiform, just catching a piece of it. We have the tricretral lunate scaphoid radius. Here's a coronal. So here's the hook of the hamate, the capitate, the second uh, metacarpal. We have the uh, trapezoid, the trapezium scaphoid um, lunate. Here's your radius and your pisiform. This is a little bit better of a cut. We try to lay them out so we can see all the bones. So you have the fifth metacarpal, third, second. Um, here is your trapezium, your trapezoid. This is intercarpal joints in between each, okay? So the scaphoid is here. Here's your radius. Here's your lunate and your midcarpal joint and your tricretrum, tricretral pisiform hamate. This is a better cut. So we have the fifth, fourth, third, second metacarpal. We have the carpal metacarpal joints here with the um, trapezoid, capitate, hamate, and then here we've got the midcarpal joints and the intercarpal joints in between. This is the radial carpal joint, the radius, the distal radial ulnar articulation with the ulna, and then here in this area, right in here, is the triangular fibrocartilage complex, the TFCC. So if you see TFCC, that's what that is. Um, it's where we inject in when we're doing a wrist arthrogram. So we have um, this space right in here. Um, the tricretral and the hamate and the inner metacarpal joint. So... Second metacarpal, so this is, you have to look at where they're slicing through, okay? So this is the sagittal, second metacarpal, trapezoid, scaphoid, radiocarpal joint with the radius. And you can see we're going through the third, so we have the third metacarpal, the capitate, the lunate, and the radiocarpal joint. And here's the fourth, so we have the fourth metacarpal, the hamate, the lunate, and the radius. So this is looking upside down, but... Um, it works. So coming down, you have the distal radial ulnar joint, and then you have your triangular fibrocartilage complex and your radiocarpal joint, your intercarpal joints, and your midcarpal joint. Um, you have your intercarpal ligaments here, um, keeps it all together. And I want you to know the base of your fifth metacarpal coming around. We have your metacarpal ligaments that hold it together, your intercarpal joint uh, compartments in here, and you have your hamate, cabate, capitate, trapezoid, trapezium, and your radial collateral ligament. You have your inner osseous ligament, and uh, let's see, I think that's it. So this is a coronal T1. So here's your scaphoid, here's your radial collateral ligament with your radius, and this is your distal radial ulna joint with your ulna. Here's your TFCC, so right in here. This is where we inject for any kind of wrist arthrogram. Um, that's why you need to know what that is. And here is your intrinsic ligaments and your ulnar collateral ligament. So we always look at the radial collateral ligament and the ulnar collateral ligament. So looking here, the main thing is that you take a look here at your flexor um, reniculum, and then we have the median nerve right in there. So, okay, we have cruciate ligaments, extensor tendons, so to extend the fingers, and the flexor tendons, um, let's see. Okay, so here we have the extensor tendon. Coming down around, we have the main collateral ligament. So this is on the fingers, okay? And here is your flexor tendon. And what else I want you to know? That's it. So looking here, this is an axial going through the uh, metacarpals. So you have fifth, fourth, third, second metacarpal. You have your collateral ligament your extensor digitorum, and then there's another collateral, and then you've got your, um, this guy right here is your flexor digitorum, superfascialis, and profundus tendons. Okay, so the top is the extenders, the bottom is the flexors. Just think of moving your hand. So the top extends your fingers out, and the bottom pulls them in, so it's the flexor. Here is a sagittal of the finger. This is MRI T1. We have the extensor 
uh, uh, digit dorsal uh, extender with the proximal phalanx. You have the extender digitorum and the metacarpal head with the flexor digitorum, the flexor um, superfascialis. Let's see. So flexor and extender. Here is a sagittal um, wrist, so you can see we're not getting detail up here in the fingers. We only have like a three inch field of view, very small, and you can see our flexors here and our extenders here. So extender digitorums up top and your flexors down below. And you have um, dorsal interosseous muscles, what I mentioned before, so those are the muscles in between. So here, these guys right here, um, they're muscles in between, but these guys are your flexor digitorum tendons. So tendons are going to be dark on MRI. So dorsal interosseous muscles, palmar interosseous muscles, so dorsal outside, palmar on the inside, the palm side. So this is a coronal hand. So here's your first metacarpal, your palmar interosseous muscles there. And then you can see your wrist bones, be able to label those, and your dorsal interosseous muscles. So coming down, down and around. So here's your aortic arch. Here is your left subclavian artery coming down to your brachial artery. And I want you to know your... Um, uh, there's the superior ulnar collateral and the profundus brachial. And we come down into the radial um, artery and it branches into the common interosseous, to the posterior interosseous, to the radial artery, and there's an ulnar artery also. So on the radial side, you've got an artery, and on the ulnar side, you have an artery. Okay, so then you have the superficial palmar. Um, artery and the deep palmar arch so you can see the arch right there so coming down here as you can see we have some deep veins and we have we studied this in your venipuncture class so coming up here's your um, cephalic and then you have your median cuboid and you have your cephalic vein going all the way up and then you have your basilic here all right so um, the main thing I want you to see here is your dorsal interosseous. That's good. And here's the veins of the hand. So very small, or the arteries of the hand, sorry. So here's your palmar, palmar metacarpal artery with your common palmar digi uh, digital artery and your proper palmar digital artery. So they're pretty small, but the main thing is, is that you have your ulnar artery and your radial artery, okay? Then you have the deep arch that connects the two. All right, so more pictures for you, a little bit bigger, easier to see. So coming up the other way, so we have your cephalic going to your median, so your cephalic continues all the way up, and it joins um, with and forms your basilic. So that's pretty much it. Um, that covers everything for your... Um, your upper extremity, I know it's a ton. The lower extremity is just as much. Um, these are your last two, so hang in there. Study up.